with the JDXA, the architecture is, is very, very useful and it's very intuitive. Um, I have the four analog parts here and I have the four digital parts here. Um, as you can see here, I have an on and off switch that are red and the part that's actually being edited by the front panel would be in blue. So if I have these four tones on, right now I'm only editing part four. I can have any configuration, so on and so on, where that allows you to hear the changes of that specific part. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play you uh, a small little example, and I think that you'll see and hear how the uh, bringing in one tone at a time, and you can kind of hear how it adds to the overall texture and the, uh, the strength of the sound. Very nice filter envelope. Filter. Nice cut off. Second tone. Now, as you can hear, it started off with this, this really nice, uh, kind of uh, very simple sound. And I have the, the, the filter envelope set up real low here. The cutoff makes it nice. And then I'll add the second tone and I'm edit I mean I'm sorry the first tone and I'm editing that tone only and then I'll bring in the second tone which is at the fifth And it's editing only that tone. If I wanted to do them together, I can easily do that. Fourth tone and, and so on. Now, the, another thing that's very nice is that I can actually layer uh, any layer the, these sounds in any range, and or I can separate any of the analog parts into any range of the keyboard. So that's really nice if you want to have maybe one analog or three analog uh, tones in this range and then just maybe one lead, so on and so on. It can be very, very um, uh, universally um, useful, not only for the analog stuff, but also for the digital part. So you can put some maybe nice pads up here at the top and then have the, uh, on the digital side and then have a, a really big bass sound on the analog stuff on the bottom. So very useful, very intuitive.